Welcome back to another real time workout. I cannot believe it's been two years since we filmed our last one. We both had babies, so <laughs> we've been a little bit busy, but we are doing a 20 minute Pilates workout. I'm here with Simone. Simone is my own Pilates instructor, so she's gonna take us through. What are we doing today? We are doing a 20 minute hit Pilates workout. So that's basically a fusion of a really strong mat Pilates flow and some high intensity drills. And Sarah really likes a fiery workout, I, so well, brace for impact. <laughs> now that I'm a mum, I'm like, I have less time than ever before. So like 20 minutes, yeah. let's efficiency. Yes. efficiency. Let's burn. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. So we're gonna start at the back edge of the mat. Start with your feet hip socket distance apart. Inhale, circle arms overhead. Fly them wide, melt the chin, roll it down. Slowly articulating down through the spine into a forward fold. Take a nice deep breath there. And as you exhale, bend your knees. Slowly, slowly roll all the way back up to a tall standing position. And one more time, inhale, circle arms overhead. Exhale, fly them wide, nod the chin, roll down bone by bone. We're lowering down into a four point kneeling position. Stack the shoulders over the wrists, the knees underneath the hips and cat stretch. Exhale, scoop and round. Inhale, arch. My other breastfeeding mothers, this feels so good. All right, opening my, up the chest. I have an eight month old and he's so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Two more like that. Last one. All right, find neutral spine. Fly your right arm out sideways, follow with thigh line. Inhale, reach. Exhale, dive it through, thread the needle. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> you have no idea. I want you to steady your hips as you work this one. Wringing out your waist like a wet towel is kind of the end of the day. Two more. Last one. Dive it through, replace the hand. Fly left arm out wide, follow with eye line. Inhale, reach. And then exhale, dive it through. So this is just prepping the shoulders for a few planks that we've got today. Two more here. Dive it through. Last one. Dive through, replace the hand, reset, activate your core, lift your pelvic floor, tuck your toes, bear hover, exhale, lift your knees, lower your knees, lift your knees, lower your knees. In this set, I want you to spiral your biceps forward, triceps back, keeping the shoulders right down away from the ears in a really happy, safe position. What I like in this one is I used to lift like my back, but only like recently, I think it was either you or one of the other instructors here, said kind of draw your knees into your back rather than lifting your back up. I feel like a lot of people lift their whole body. Yeah, it makes your body work so much harder. So keep the hips low, tuck the knees into the fronts of your tights or shorts. 10, nine, you've got eight. You're gonna feel so much more ab work, right? Yeah, and like, I think my quads are tight anyway, but I'm like, quads, abs, everything. <laughs> Should everything be shaking already? <laughs> Everything's shaking already, that's it. Ready, send those hips up to downward dog, pedal out the legs. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth, let your head and neck relax. We're gonna go back into that bear hover in eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, rise up, bend the knees, bear hover. You've got the option to stay here if you wanna spice it up. You're gonna twist, tap your left knee to the mat and the right, tap the left. Tap the right, this is like a horizontal salsa. The idea here is to keep your shoulders and collarbones square to the mat, then rotate from the waist. So we're starting to really feel the obliques light up. I like this one better than a Russian twist because Russian twists hurt my back. Yeah, right. So I kind of like when my tummy's towards the ground. I don't know, my back yes. is so bad at the moment with breastfeeding. Yeah. So this one gets my obliques but doesn't go into my back. Yeah, perfect. And that's the aim of the game. You shouldn't feel anything in your lower back through this workout. Six, five, Four, three, two, press the hips up, downward dog, pedal out the legs. All right, we're gonna fuse those three moves together. So we're gonna do a dog, a bear, and two salsa twists. When you're ready, rise up onto the toes, bend the knees, lower to your bear pose. Two twists, tap, hover, tap, hover. Send the hips back, dog, rise, bear hover. Two twists, tap, hover, tap, and hover. Hips up, rise, bend, hover, two twists. So this is a nice shoulder stability warm up. A nice core activation drill. Beautiful, 20 seconds here. Using the breath, enjoying that really nice stretch up the back body. You've got two more rounds, off we go. Send those hips up, bear hover, two twists. 10, nine, you've got eight, seven, six, two twists to finish, four, 
Three, two, lower your knees down. Step Whoop. your left foot forward, low lunge. Nice. We're gonna extend the back leg here. Connect your core. Start to circle that left arm forward, up and around. Big circles, brushing the bicep up past the ear. So cracking open the shoulders. This is another one. Another good one for breastfeeding mamas, right? Oh, feels honest. good. Anything stretching, give it to me. Yeah. Like, I'm so <laughs> tight everywhere. It's just like, still every three hours, I'm like in the same position. I'm like, I'm like a tin man. <laughs> Hungry bubba. When you're ready, soften your back knee, propel yourself forward into a deep squat. Oh, yes. I want you to press your elbows into your thighs. Start to wriggle from side to side. Now my gym junkies, you're gonna know this is an ATG after grass squat. Yes. So the yogis, it's a malasana. It's all about opening up the hips, the knees, and the ankle joint. Now what I want you to do, press the knees right back over second and third toes, so they're aligning there. Take the elbows away. Use the glutes to hold the knees there. Let's go, full range squats. Exhale, driving all the way up tall standing. Inhale, take a nice low squat. Exhale, drive up. Sit it back. So if you're on a mat, your knee, uh, your heels are on the mat? Just yeah. Your heels? Yeah, perfect. Because the feet are turned out at sort of 10 to two. Wherever the feet go, the knees must follow. So just maintaining that knee alignment as you work, keeping those knees safe and avoiding knees tracking forward. I always imagine someone holding my knees back, like pushing them yeah, back. Yeah, exactly, that wrap of the glute. Three more here, and this is about to get fiery. Two more. Last one, all the way up, now all the way down. We're gonna stay low, bottom range pulse. You're gonna come a third of the way up, all the way down. This a is where third. I love it. A In third. class, when you start saying pulses, I'm like, give it to me. This was for you. 100%. Give me the burn, <laughs> give me the burn. <laughs> I know these are your favorite. Ready, now we're gonna go halfway up, all the way down. Halfway up, all the way down. You so when so you're low. Close, Start to set on fire. Blame Sarah, not me. She yes. loves this. I love a burn. <laughs> but 20 minutes, four, you have to make it three, work. right? Two thirds of the way up now. That's it. Woo! And all the way down. Yes, getting nice and low. So we've got that beautiful fusion of mobility. Your depth is, I'm trying to match your depth. <laughs> You're deep, girl. <laughs> Been practicing. Seriously. Seven, <laughs> six, Five, nice, four more here for four. You're gonna step back into high plank in three. Pilates burpees are coming up in two. In one, step back, high plank. All right, from here, you're again, you're gonna step your left foot forward, low lunge. Soften your back knee, propel yourself forward, deep squat. Drive all the way up, hands reach for the ceiling. Now return to the mat, step left foot back, right foot back. Now you can lower your knees if you need to for your push up or keep them elevated, one full press. Okay, right foot forward, left foot forward, drive up. Hands find the mat, step back. One push up. Alternate the legs left, right, drive up. Send them back, left, right, knees or no knees for the press, right foot. All right, start to set your intention for the class. So if your intention is for a super efficient sweat, you're gonna start to add pace to this drill. That's me. Yeah. I don't have time. <laughs> I can't work out again today, so this is it. You've got 30 seconds remaining here. You can start to add a jump at the top. Spring the feet back to the plank. Bring the feet forward. That's it. But if you're here to increase your mobility, get deeper in the squats, deeper in the lunges. Make sure every move today gets you closer to your goals. 10 seconds. My quads are already on fire. I don't wait for the next bit. Eight, seven, six, five. Meet me in a squat in four, three, two. Okay, meet me in a squat. All the way down, all the way up. Bangs were not a good choice. <laughs> they look nice. Yeah, thank you. More aesthetic than functional though, aren't they? Oh, exactly. <laughs> Let's get low, ready? Bottom range, pulse. Eight, seven, bottom yes. range, get low. Woo, five, four, three, all the way down, then halfway up. Eight, seven, six. You get so low. <laughs> my, my quads. Three, two, two thirds of the way up. Last eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, come all the way up, shake it out. Oh, oh my goodness. Step to the other edge of your mat. Inhale, circle arms overhead. Fly them wide, nod the chin, roll it down. Meet me in your high plank. We're holding here for 10, nine. In eight counts, we're gonna step the right foot forward and go into that low lunge. In four, in three, right foot, low lunge. Off you go, get low in the hips and circle that right arm back. Brushing the bicep past the ear, adding that little twist. You've got four more here, then we're stepping back into high plank in three, in two, in one. Hands find the mat, step back high plank and hold. 
Seven, we're gonna take a slow lower to the mat. Drop your knees if you need to, otherwise shift shoulders forward over fingertips. Bend elbows narrow and go down slow. Six, five, halfway. Three, two, one. Come into a cobra or a full swan dive if you want a little more. Oh, the back. Exhale, lower. Two more, inhale, lift. Last one. All right, from here, reach the arms back behind you, flip the palms to face the mat, roll the shoulders back and down, and draw your abs in and away from the mat. Here we go, inhale, lengthen, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lengthen, lift. So we're getting into that posterior chain now, working thoracic extension. You should feel this from your waist up, not into your lower back. Inhale, lengthen, lift, and lower. Working those posture muscles. Nice work. If you need a little more, you're gonna add a little marge. So everyone lift that left thigh off the mat and lower it down, right thigh. Again, if that tracks into your lower back, that's not the right option for you. To get it out of lower back, activate pelvic floor, draw abs in and away from the mat, squeeze glutes. You've got three. We're gonna hold the back extension for more in two. Last one, inhale, lengthen, lift and stay. Ready, kick, kick, kick those legs. Breathing in. I feel like two. this looks pretty. Out. With two. Like, don't you think this like, <laughs> if you walked into this class, you'd be like, oh, that's so pretty. That's so pretty. With the pointed toe. <laughs> Gorgeous. Dancy, dancy. 10, nine, you've got eight. This is the calm before the storm. We've got a Tabata coming up. In four, three, two, hands find the mat, press up. Swan dive. Duck dive your head down, sit back into a shell. Mountain climbers are coming up in eight counts. Stack your shoulders forward over your wrists. Connect your core, step back into your plank. Ready, off we go, mountain climbers. Start running the knees into the chest. This is a Tabata. So this is kind of give it everything here? Yes, exactly. Eat each short spike of high intensity. You want to give it all you've got. We've got three, two, downward dog. The second exercise we're going to do here is a sprawl. So you start in your little bear hover, you spring forward to a squat, then you spring it back to your bear. So you've released hands. That's it. All right, off we go. Spring forward, jazz hands optional. Spring it back, spring forward, spring back. Nice. Again, we're low in the legs. Core connection is strong. Eight counts. Six. It's crazy how it gets your core. Like, you don't think of this as a core exercise. But totally, rest. 10 seconds off, shake and shimmy out the shoulders. We're going back to mountain climbers. We've got eight rounds, okay? okay. Starting in four, in three, two. Go, run, run, go, run, go, run, go. run. We've only got 20 minutes. <laughs> go, go, go. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Keep them there, work the core. 10 seconds. 10 seconds, go. Five, four, three, two, Rest. You can go into a downward dog for that beautiful stretch if that feels good for you. Okay, sprawls next. Yep, in five, okay. four, three, two, spring. Up we go, spring, return, and spring. Return, spongy knees to absorb the shock. Now, a Tabata is a really efficient way to burn calories. It'll keep your body burning calories for hours after this class if you go 100%. Three, two, rest. So it's designed just short blasts of high intensity to maintain really, really good form and to really spike your heart rate. How now do you climb us through this? Third round. Oh, <laughs> can sing and dance at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Mountain climbers are my favourite because I feel like it gets my shoulders, my core, my quads, my glutes. <laughs> it does the, the heart trick, rate up. It? Totally. You've got five, four, three, two, rest. Oy. Shake him out, shake him out, shake him out, shake him out. Nice, okay. Okay, sprawls. Third round in five, four, three, two, one. Off we go. Spongy knees. 10 seconds. You've got five, four, three, two, rest. All right, this Ooh, is your final baby. round. You've got one more round here. We're not gonna waste it, we're gonna go hard. Here we go, set it up. Three, two, run. Hardest one, go, 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 go. <laughs> Faster knees, shoot the back leg to straight. Keep those shoulders stacked over the wrists. 10, nine, eight, seven, faster. Six, five, four, three, two, rest. 
Oh, the shoulders are burning. They are, right? Right? <laughs> Love that. Sprawls in four, in three, two, off we go. Sprawl. Spring, sprawl. I feel like a footy player, you know, when they're like, hot. <laughs> so militant. <laughs> 10 seconds. Six, five, four, three, two. Lower all the way down. Nice work, everybody. Ooh. Okay, come to your right forearm now. Coming to the right forearm, we're really slowing down the pace. Take the top hand behind your head. Start to clam. Open the knee, resist the close. All right, so you're pressing up and out of this shoulder, working the underside of the waist, keeping it lifting right up and away from the mat. <laughs> Steady the pelvis. As you wrap the knee open, resist to close it. Nice. So not Excellent. rolling the body open? Totally, it's so you don't just want this. The knee. You want to make that glute work, so you want to keep your hips square. Open the knee as far as it will allow you and to. And when you get this exercise in the right muscle group, it is the most insane burn you've ever felt in your life. Like, if you're doing it right, you will know. Right? Yeah, it's a good one, isn't it? Very underrated, I think. 100%. Okay, let's add an elevated clamp. So we're gonna exhale, drive the hips forward and up, open the knee, and then close. Drive and close. Getting oblique, getting the glute. Yeah, super efficient. That's what we're after. Four more. And I guess paying particular attention to supporting through the shoulder, lifting up the waistband so you do get that bang for buck workout. We're gonna add a high kick in three, in two, in one. We drive, we kick, toes kiss and close. Drive, kick, toes kiss and close. That's it. Should be feeling both glutes working as they open like a book. Nice. Kick, knees kiss. You've got open. Kick. Two more. And keeping that bottom oblique lifted, I feel like that's one of the best things I've learned in your classes. It's totally. not it's not sinking down, it's having that arch in the Exactly, oblique. totally. All as one move now. Drive it up, kick, and sit back down. Seven. Whew. Six. Nice. Five. Beautiful everybody. Four more here. Looking strong. You've got three. Two more, kick, last one, kick, take a seat. Okay, swing that top leg behind, bring the bottom leg forward, reach the arms to T. We're gonna take a side bend up and over, mermaid. Oh, nice. That stretch, this the stretch name is beautiful. <laughs> mermaid, <laughs> take a moment. Beautiful. Two more. Last one, all right. We're gonna jazz swing those legs around to your right. Half roll down, reach the arms forward, exhale, scoop the belly in and up. Half roll down, inhale, come back up. Half roll down. So we're getting to the abs now. You shouldn't feel this in your lower back. If you do, to modify, just lay down, go into a basic abdominal curl. Four more. Nice. Three. Two more. Last one, lower down and hold. When you're ready, scissor switch the arms. Switch, exhale. For two, maintain the scoop of the belly and check that the abs aren't bulging and doming up. You really wanna scoop in and up. Avoid that, dole, that bulge and that dome, nice. If you need more legs to tabletop, eight more counts. Eight, seven, six, five, before we even out the glutes in four, in three, in two, in one, coming all the way down onto the left forearm. Ready, push up and out of that shoulder, top hand behind your head, start to open the knee and close the knee. Now you're already gonna feel this butt cheek, right? It's already gonna feel semi-cooked. Give it a minute, we'll completely And again, it. reminder, because I feel like I always need this reminder to lift up that oblique, because I feel like when you get tired by now, you kind of sink. sink. So lifting out of the shoulder, lifting up like a rainbow. I yes. kind of think it's like a rainbow underneath my oblique keeps me up. Totally. And I that's like to where, think that's more when aggressive, you like a spike. Well, okay. <laughs> this, I think rainbow, she thinks spike. Like <laughs> this is telling of our personalities. Yeah, totally. <laughs> but like that is when I see results in my core, you know, when I am Absolutely. doing those tweaks. It's all about the tweaks. Yes. No, you're so right. And that's how you get that bang for buck benefit, right? Yeah. If you're feeling your Don't core. Don't cheat yourself. Yes. <sighs> it's like I'd rather do it slow. Like, yes. you know, like ab bicycles, I'd rather do that slow 
and be engaging my core and performing it correctly rather than just, you know, doing it quick and I'm not totally, you know, engaging the muscles I'm, that I'm yes. trying to engage. Let's add the kick. Off we go. Open the knee, kick, toes kiss, close back down, open, kick. Woo! Sweet yeah, start. I feel, feel fire. Oh, yeah. I love that. That's what I mean. Like, if you're doing it right, you know you're doing it right. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Four more here, kick. Lift the waistband, kick. In two more reps, we're gonna fuse it all together as one move. Oh, my supporting glute is burning. Oh yeah, she's on fire. Eight reps, you've got, kick it up and close. You've got seven, you've got six. Oh, we're finishing yeah. on the backs in five, five, four more, four. Nice work, three, <laughs> beautiful. Two more, last one. Oh. Sit up to a mermaid. Oh, give me the mermaid. Yes, yes give me that mermaid. mermaid. Me out. Oh. Oh. Baby, yes. Up and over. Oh. Love that. Oh, love that. Oh, <laughs> no, right. I do. I do. This is why I love Pilates. I'm like, <laughs> such simple body weight. This is our body weight. And I'm like, wincing. Yeah, exactly. Oh. So efficient. Let's turn the legs around here. All right, reach the hands forward. Slowly, slowly lower to the mat. This is going to be our cool down. So I want you to reach the hands up above the chest. And as you exhale, hip roll, tuck your pelvis under, roll through C curve, roll your hips up to a nice straight line bridge. Inhale, reach the hands back, like you're being pulled. Now articulate through your spine, roll down bone by bone. Inhale, hands up above the chest. Exhale, hip roll, tuck your pelvis under, peel the tailbone off the mat, massage lumbar, then roll up. Inhale, reach. Exhale, roll back down. Nice. One more here, hands up above the chest. Exhale, tuck the pelvis under, roll through C curve. Roll the hips up, inhale, reach. Exhale, articulate all the way back down. Nice. When you're ready, march your right leg up to tabletop, grab the shin bone, rock and roll all the way up to a seat. Cross the legs when you're ready, interlock your hands, scoop through your belly, round through your spine, stretch between shoulder blades. Palms to the ceiling, grow tall, inhale, shrug. Exhale, let go, open the arms. Nice big shoulder roll. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank, thank you for having you, me. Thank you. I hope you guys are sweating like I am. And if you just did this in your lounge room and your kids are running around, like special shout out to you. But we are filming some more, so you can always go to my playlist. I have a workout playlist on YouTube. You can scroll through those and do any real-time workouts that you want from there. But thank you, Simone, for joining us. Thank you so and much for having me. And we'll see you in our next workout. Yes. Bye. Bye.